Hey there, welcome to the video. Today we will focus on one thing, and that is the confusing Cisco Router's NAT terminologies. Up until now, we were discussing private IP addresses and public IP addresses with a NAT boundary router in the middle, converting the private IPs to public IPs and vice versa whenever needed. That is the basic concept of NAT and the most logical way to understand it. Now when it comes to a Cisco router, the logic is obviously the same, but it uses these fairly confusing terms to describe each one of the IP addresses in a NAT based network which we will need to understand before jumping into the lab section of the course. Now the terms that Cisco uses in a NAT based network are inside local address, inside global address, outside local address, and outside global address. Just by looking at these terms you get confused. So let's try to understand them in the best way possible. Let's start by understanding the terms inside and outside that are used here. Generally speaking, the inside and the outside describe the physical location of a device. That device could be a desktop, laptop, server, mobile phone, IP camera or any device that works with an IP address. Now the inside term refers to the devices that are residing inside of your organization physically speaking. For example, your organization's workstations and servers that reside behind your NAT boundary router will be considered inside of your organization. The term outside refers to the devices residing outside of your organization physically speaking. For example, Google or Facebook servers would be considered outside of your organization. Now let's look at the terms local and global. Generally speaking, the terms local and global refer to the public and private IP addresses respectively. But with Cisco's NAT terms, they refer to the viewpoint or the perspective of the device when it looks at an IP address. For example, a local device sitting inside of your organization has its own perspective or viewpoint of looking at an IP address. A device outside of your organization views an IP address with their own perspective or viewpoint. Now I know that is confusing, but bear with me. It will be cleared in the upcoming slides. Now these terms that we refer to are displayed on the Cisco NAT boundary router as an IP packet traverses it. You can view it with the show IP NAT translations command on a Cisco router. Let's say PCA has a web browser open and is connecting to the website drnetworks.net via HTTP. Now an inside local address is the local IP address of a private host on your network. In this case, it's PCA. Now PCA resides inside of your organization physically speaking, so it justifies the inside part. Local is the perspective. So from the perspective of the internal or local devices, they see that address as 192.168.1.10. Now the inside global address is the public or registered address that the outside network sees as the IP address of your local host, PCA in this case. Now a quick question here, where does the device, or in this case PCA, physically exist even though its IP address has been translated by a NAT device to a public IP address? Well, it still physically resides inside of your organization, right? So that justifies the inside part. Now global is the perspective. So from the perspective of all the users on the internet, PCA will be seen as its public IP address, meaning when PCA accesses drnetworks.net, its IP will be seen as 200.1.1.1 in this case. I will leave the outside local address for the last as it's a weird one. The outside global address is the public IP address of the remote host. For example, the public IP address of the remote server that a workstation is connecting to. For our example, it will be the public IP address of the web server hosting doctornetworks.net. Now it is physically outside of your organization and from the global perspective or viewpoint, they see that IP as 111.1.1.1. Now here comes the weird one. Outside local address is the local IP address from the private network which your local host sees as the IP address of the remote host. Now if that isn't frying your mind right now, nothing will. But don't worry, we got this. Let's just break down the terms and reverse engineer it. 
Now outside signifies it's a device sitting physically outside of your organization. So it's somewhere out there on the internet, right? Local means the perspective of the local clients of how they see that IP address. In our case, PCA and PCB will see that address as 111.1.1. Now the confusion mainly arises here because we already have a term outside global address that basically shows the same thing, right? I mean, think about it. If everyone else on the internet sees a public IP as 111.1.1.1, aren't we gonna see the same thing as well? The answer to that is a resounding yes. And that is the reason if you look at Cisco's show IP NAT translations command, both outside local and outside global have the same IPs and port numbers. So why is the outside local even present if the viewpoint is the same? Well, it is there to facilitate a specific type of NAT known as destination NAT. This is a type of NAT that has a very specific use and is very uncommon. Now to really understand it, let us consider the following use case. The developers of Dr. Networks Corporation were accessing the website drnetworks.net by the IP of 111.1.1 up until now. Now for some reasons, the IP of the server was temporarily changed to let's say 199.9.9.9. Now instead of letting the internal users know the new IP address or changing the local DNS records for a short time, we can leverage the destination NAT here such that the users will still believe they're connecting to 111.1.1.1 with their perspective. But in reality, the destination IP will be changed from 111.1.1.1 to 199.9.9.9. So if we were to look at the show IP NAT translations command on the router now, the outside local address will be 111.1.1.1 and the outside global address will be 199.9.9.9. So you see how the local perspective of the local clients is now different. For the rest of the world, DocNetworks.net will be accessible via the IP of 199.9.9.9 because that is the global perspective. Now if you have liked the content of this video, you can also head over to our website DocNetworks.net to avail the full version of our free Cisco Routers NAT beginner series for a focused and systematic learning experience to better understand NAT on Cisco routers. At Dr. Networks, we have quizzes for you after each conceptual lecture for your self-assessment and there are lab assignments after each hands-on lab we perform, keeping you engaged and laser focused throughout the course. The course link is in the description of this video if you decide to visit our website. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and to get notified on each new video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.